Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this tutorial and uh, over here today we're going to teach you how to use your EasyCam software and uh, easily transition cameras and create camera views for uh, payware aircraft that don't already come with the preset camera configs in there. Now, um, I apologize to anybody that's already familiar with this and you know you might have your own way of setting up the camera but there this tutorial is uh, mainly aimed towards the users who just wanna quickly and easily get the camera configs all started all set up and ready and just uh, just get right into flying their favorite plane now something I wanna touch on before we start this is that the way EasyCam has its uh, preset uh, configurations or its preset camera configurations it um, classifies them by aircraft weight class so you got light aircraft you got medium aircraft and you got heavy aircraft uh, today in this example I'm going to use a light aircraft so I have this twin otter uh, DHC6 Twin Otter uh, by Aerosoft that I want to set up cameras for and this aircraft is a light class and uh, I'm gonna set up some cameras for it what you wanna do now is find another aircraft that already has cameras uh, another light aircraft that already has cameras uh, preferably a uh, Microsoft one because those already come set up once you install your uh, EasyCam software. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this uh, DHC2, the default DHC2 that comes with uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. We're going to load it up and um, go to an airport. and here we are we're already loaded up um, okay so first of all let's bring out the add-on uh, or the easy cam menu from your add-on menu uh, you can do that by hitting alt and then this will pop up and you click on show studio as you can see this aircraft already uh, comes with all of these uh, cameras already defined now what you want to do is um, focus on this pilot eyes camera this is the one that I usually focus on and I get all my effects from so let me uh, explain a little bit on how this works um, each camera each entry on these uh, columns over here on the virtual cockpit each one of them has their own set of effects as you can see right here um, and you can choose either to activate them or um, deactivate them now you want to get the effects for this camera so we're gonna start from the random or R&D effect and uh, right click it to pull up its properties and this comes already preset with the ground profile the flight one or the makers of the easy cam software already preset for light aircraft so we want to go and click file full export and the way that I set this up is I made like a folder on my desktop um, and I divided it and I made three new folders in there called heavy light and medium um, and these are for the classes of the aircraft that the cameras go into since this is a light aircraft we're gonna put this in the light folder and I already have it in there so what you would do you would save this you would just uh, name it give it a name I'll call it light and save file go ahead and do that and we got the uh, shaking and ground effects already in there so now we want to go to DHM effect and right click it go to file export and then export it again call it light it doesn't matter it's a momentum file so it won't interfere with your other one that you just saved previously 
So go ahead and hit save. Um, close this window and go to the CR effect and do the same thing. Name it light and hit save. Okay, so we got all the three effects in there. Now we want to get around to using the camera. So we will uh, go ahead and I will select my uh, aircraft that I want to apply these cameras on. And that's going to be the DHC 6. Once uh, Flight Sim loads up its planes here. Okay, so here it is. Um, the DHC-6, I'll pick up the British Airways, load it up, and here it is. Apply some parking brakes, and alright, let's get started. So, we want to go and pull up the uh, studio again. Alright, so usually when you got this new aircraft and it doesn't have cameras all you're going to see is this so you want to go to virtual cockpit and then hit the first slot in there and in the view that you spawn on or you uh, load up your aircraft on just the one pointing forward on the pilot seat uh, just go to add camera and I'll call this pilot view alright so we got our camera in here and I'll assign the shortcut number 7 to it. We'll uh, import our effect files for this camera. So we click on random effect or right click on it, I'm sorry, and uh, just full import and click on light, open, and boom, there we go. The effect's already in there. As you can see, the ground effects are on. do the same thing for the other two effects uh, hit yes on this warning okay so we got our pilot view here our main cam that we're going to use and uh, it has all the effects integrated into it so now we're going to base off of this camera and we're going to go to clone camera with the effects and this is important and we're going to have a second camera called this copilot so here it is the copilot cam now what we want to do is hit your record key which is on my uh, on my computer it's shift D and you'll notice the beeping noise in the background. Go ahead and uh, set up your copilot cam in the uh, copilot seat. Point it forward. And uh, go ahead and press your um, record key again. And there we go, the camera is saved. So I'll assign this to number 9 as my uh, view or my shortcut for the view so I can switch between them without having to pull up the studio window every time. Then go ahead and click uh, clone camera again with the effects and I'll call this overhead. Now I want to press my record key again as you can hear it the beeping noise in the background which means that the easy cam is in record mode and uh, let me get this out the way and I like this one right here so I'm gonna hit my record key again and the beeping stop which mean it uh, saves this position of the camera so um, go ahead and show the studio again so there we go we got overhead right here I'll assign this to number 8 and that way I can switch now between these views using the uh, shortcuts.